Hey guys, so I want to show you um, my last video I had. I shoveled the front of the hanger um, so that a foot or so of snow that plows leave behind wouldn't turn into ice. Well, I didn't do that this time because I was busy at work and we had a couple things going on there. So I didn't get a chance to get up here, the last snowstorm. But this is what happens if I don't do that. So as you can see, this strip is pretty much all ice and this is all ice so there's the tractor marks there plow marks they can't get obviously that close as you can see all the way down there this is all ice i have to clean this up as much as i can before i get the mooney uh, for obvious reasons and this is all ice too right here so because i am facing north um like i said before uh, the sun doesn't hit this side that much um, in the winter time or in summertime actually the, so the uh, sun will melt this snow off the roof and it comes down lands in front of the hangar and that turns into mostly ice um, the good thing in the summertime it doesn't get really hot over here because if the sun's not hitting the hangar all summer long so I kind of make up for it in the summertime when it's 100 degrees out or 80 degrees out 90 degrees out and I kind of get hit for it when it's icy out and the rain and the snow melts uh, and the snow melts in the roof and turns this into ice uh, because there's no sun on the side for most of the day but let me clean this up so we can get out of here and get the mooney tucked away without having any problems all right well there you have it folks a pain in the butt to get all that off and it's still icy so that's why I shovel off about a foot away from the hangar when you plow because it turns into an ice nightmare. So I'm going to chisel away a little bit more. Um, probably just the three spots for landing gear and stuff go and be done with it. But it is icy. You do not want to put salt, obviously, down unless you find the fake salt to put down. There you have it. Another example. Why we do what we do. All right, we'll go meet Daryl in a few minutes. He's here somewhere. Um, he's pre flighting his uh, Mooney 201. Uh, so we'll meet him in about a few minutes and get out of here. See you guys in a bit. And that's Daryl's 201. So we're gonna fly in that today. Beautiful airplane. He did file, and we're gonna see how that goes with IFR. And that's what we're flying in. Daryl, say hi to the whole world. Hello. <laughs> hey guys, see you in a bit.
Alright folks, welcome back. Mooney is done. I'm gonna head back to... I'm gonna go to Sky Acres for some fuel. Why not? I have uh, my buddy behind me in a 201 who dropped me off here. So very clean bill of health. So we're gonna move along here and get some fuel. At Mount Pocono. I'm sorry, at uh, Sky Acres. So I got the throttle, new throttle for the prop. It was getting kind of hard to uh, operate and it's the original, so I decided to get that done while it's there. Other than that, um, there's some points in the magnetos. I like to do that. I mean, I wouldn't wait. Uh, they recommend, I don't know, two to 500 hours. I wouldn't recommend that. You see the points that come out, they are a little shaved here and there, so got some of those done and it should be running really well. And that is the plan. Those troves are nice, Chris. Thank you. Nice and bright. I got the LED belly strobe on this plane. Also the tail strobe It is LED as well, so it's great. Let me run up right here. All right, handy dandy checklist time. It's been a while. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's get this out of the way. All right, folks, checklist is complete. All right, I'm uh, golden there whenever you're ready. I'm ready too. All right, let's do this, folks. And Mount Falcon traffic. Uh, when do you take the active uh, two-three for departure? I uh, watch the ice here. There's some ice. We'll watch that. All right, gas, undercarriage, mixtures full rich, props full forward, flaps are at 15. And I'm going to watch this area for the Johnson bar to come down. It's clear, and we're looking good to go here. Let's line up. And the DG is looking good. Two, one, two, three, two, three, let's do it. Hey, put in the roll, two, three. All right, full power. Look at that, nice. Skier, coming up. And Pocono traffic, second money, taking T3 for departure. And Mount Pocono, everybody left turn out now. Mount Pocono. Everything looks good, everything's in the green. Money on the go, Pocono. Flaps coming up. Trim down a little bit. And now focus on traffic. We need a partner pattern to the east, climbing through 2,700. See ya. All right, 1,000 over, pull that power back. Just a little smidgen. Some bumps here and there. And pull that prop back. Mooney, left turn out, departing to the east, now Pocono traffic. Hey, Dad, I want to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the comp for us. Say again, Chris. I want to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, for us so we can talk. All right, guys, you're heading over there now. That was fun. Darryl, you on? Yes, sir. You said 5.5. 5. 
five. You up there already? Uh, 47. Beautiful. Flying perfect. It's smooth up here. Pull that mixer out a little bit. A little right rudder. Yeah, they were fun. It's smooth as glass at 4.5, climbing through that now. I'll pull that prop back a little more, square it off there, keep it at 25. So I got the prop cable done, it, it was well overdue. Uh, might as well get it done before it breaks when you're trying to run up or some stuff like that. It's stuck somewhere. Uh, little adjustments on both uh, the left, right mag, which is fine. And uh, very clean bill of health. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day to fly here. Oh, I got this, didn't really get a chance to show you, but this is all replaced in the last video, so that's nice and cleaned up now. And that arrow climbing through 5,000. Let's get on to 5,500. All right, let's let it pull up right here. And that'll level 5,500. All right, I'm coming through 4.5 right now. Perfect. She's trimmed out good. Okay. Beautiful. So, the avionics I'm looking at, so the true track is coming out in autopilot. That's affordable um, for the Moonies, and they have a couple things out there already that other people have. Um, but, I don't have a heading bug in this airplane. That's the old school. What's your altimeter setting? Uh, 29.66. If you want to come up my left side here, I got the uh, left camera on. can't miss all these fancy um, LEDs I got now. <laughs> I'm at a heading of um, 70 heading. I am about a 075. So, I'm looking for um, the Aspen Pro 1000. Evolution. Uh, it gives you a lot of stuff. HSI, you don't have to worry about all this other stuff I can take out. Of the Just stand above you until I pick you out here. 
Okay, I'm at a uh, five point five. Yeah, the four flight out saying are two hundred feet above me. Uh, maybe about a mile behind me. I'm still looking. Got a hundred and seventy seven knots on the ground and indicating uh, uh about a hundred and thirty five. That is awesome. So the Aspen, boom, right in the center. Um and then um, the True Track Autopilot, it does a GPSS, you know, GPS steering. Um, it, it does work off the GNS 480, the Garmin, or I might switch to Avidyne uh, radio, not quite sure. Uh, the plane is worth keeping for me. It's got low time on the engine, foreign change, the prop. It's got a 200 change. I think I bought it has 17 hours on it. The paint job is 9 out of 10. The engine's great. The interior is great. So I got a great price for the aircraft. Um, the previous owner. So uh, there's so I can 191. Nice. I'm still hovering at 177 with the ground. 5.5, and I have the heading of 076 right now, 077. He's in a 201. He's trying to catch me. He will. So it's at 199. This is awesome. Nice. 201, baby. Going downhill a little bit. I'm level at 5.5 now. It just hit 200. Nice. I'm at 180 over the ground right now, 5.5. What's your manifold RPM setting at? Uh, 25 RPMs manifold at 23 and a half. You were broken up there, stepped on. You're at um, 25 RPM and what for manifold? Uh, 23 and a half. Yeah, that's what I'm at too. So it's worth it for me, I can put those things back up here, but it's worth it for me to put the avionics in because the stuff that's out there, you know, with a Mooney 201, 60 grand, it needs a whole panel, the paint's iffy, and you know, it's then you got to put the panel in, then you got to put the ADSB uh, 2020 mandate in, then you got to do this, and you got to do that. Before you know it, you're at 100 grand, you know, in a matter of weeks. This plane flies great, perfect exterior, interior, engine prop. Um, so it, for me, it'd be worth throwing. A, you know, approximately 15,000. Yeah, stabilized. I'm at 195 now at uh, 23 and a half and 2400 RPM. Nice. Thanks for trying to bring the prop back to 24 and see what I can do. Thank you. She's running good. So it's a excellent plane for me, and it's if I throw back to 24, and that increases manifold pressure that half an inch. So I'm at 24 squared right now. Gotcha. I'm gonna do that the same right now. I'm gonna bring the prop back a little bit. I'm at 2424 squared off, 5.5, uh, heading 078. I'm at 075. I should be coming up on the left of you here. I don't know why I can't see you yet. Um, I'm at 181 knots over the ground right now, and uh, you're about a mile behind me, it looks like, 100 feet below me as per the four flight out. 
Oh, I got you. I see you now. Yeah, I'm only, uh, what, 15, I'm doing 190, I'm only 12 knots faster than you. Yep, I'm at 2424 right now. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm doing 180. Are you on my left side? I'm trying to find you. Yeah, you're, you won't be able to see me. I'm, I'm too far behind you. Uh, gonna start my descent, do you think? <laughs> uh, stand by. If someone's following you, probably should, you know, always talk to each other if you're that close, if you're descending or um, going up in altitude. No, not yet. So, for me, it's, if, if I put 15,000, well, we're about 20 miles out. We'll start uh, descent about 500 feet, four, about 400 feet a minute. Usually, it's pretty good. Copy that. Um, so, for me, if I can get this in. Um, if I put 15,000 into the panel, um, it's worth it for me. The price I bought for the plane, um, the motor. The, all the upgrades, the speed mods, the paint, the interior, um, it's it's, per, it's be good for me to do it. If I bought the plane for too much money, or if I bought it for what it was worth, and then it needed the paint, it needed the panel, it needed the interior, then you're kind of like, okay, let me try to find something else. Um, but I got a great price for this air, aircraft, and I just love this aircraft. So I've been saving some money for the panel for the last couple of years, so I do want autopilot. I love to have autopilot. I'm going far. The local stuff um, that you guys fly along with me with, um, it's not really worthy of putting an autopilot in. Um, I do have uh, wing leveling, but I like to go place to Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, um, Oshkosh and Wisconsin and so on and so forth. It's not good to have an autopilot to, to put it on and you can focus more on your charts or your outside radio communication instead of always trying to correct yourself and aileron corrections and... Man, I'm back at 202. Rudder, cor rudder corrections. Yeah, I'm 188 indicated on the, uh, I'm sorry, on the uh, ground speed, 188. Uh, 140 indicated. He's trying to catch me. Two hundred one is a beautiful aircraft too. A little more leg room for the back passengers, with basically the difference in a two two hundred horsepower fuel injected. Other than that, it's the same exact air, aircraft. Saving some money for that. Put it a little bit in the piggy bank. I can't find him. He's lost. Cutting over to the left here. Yeah, I still can't pick you up, Chris. Yeah, you're off to my left. 
about a mile or so. About a hundred feet below me. Rock your wings. Yeah, I can't see the red bird either. I'm going to uh, rock my wings here, right now. Orange County is right off my right wing tip. And it's below me. That little bit of haze where your white just blends right in, I think. Could be. Uh, Stewart's by 1 o'clock. It says on the floor play here, you're to my left, maybe about a mile to a, about a mile behind me, to the left. So I'm to your right. Yo, Polo's up here. What's the top of your green arc on that? I forget. Um, 130 knots, 150 miles per hour. All right, so you're at the top right now then, aren't you? Yeah, I'm in the yellow, I'm at 140 knots indicated. But smooth there. When we get lower, I'm sure it's a little bumpy. Looking good, looking good. Everything looks good, everything smells good. I just did another two inches of manifold. Copy that. Alright, landing lights on still, because we're going to start some haze. Outside temperature is not freezing. Shouldn't be. 44 degrees. I'm not too concerned with carb ice. Hudson River is frozen. Fortunately, you guys can't see that. I'm going to switch over to uh, Sky Acres. Yep, 122.8. Uh, Uh, which one do I use? 3-5? I'm going to check uh, uh, Poughkeepsie Aetis right now. Just don't go below three over Stewart. Yeah, I'm already out of that airspace. Plane apart, helicopters right down one runway. I got you. Oh yeah, I got you over Poughkeepsie right now. I'm sorry. I meant uh, don't go below three over Poughkeepsie. Yep, descending through 4,000. Traffic. You got two Moonies, 10 east, correction, 10 west, inbound for landing for 3-5 Sky Acres. Yeah, you're at my 8 o'clock at uh, 2 North Miles.
I got gotcha. you. Automated advisory, wind 170 at 5, altimeter 2-9-6-9-er, for runway, listen for traffic. I see it, Daryl. I'm going to cross from your path right now. Yeah, I've got good visual on you. Take a left uh, 360 out of here, up way too high. All right, what's your manifold pressure at? Uh, 21. I'll make a left here and I'll follow you in. Sky is traffic. Mooney's entering a left downwind midfield 45 3 5. Sky Eagers. A little bit too hot. Too hot. Sky Eagers traffic. Mooney has entered a left downwind 3 5. Sky Eagers. Yeah, beautiful down there. Nice white snowy. And Skyker's traffic, booty number two, um, is on a two mile 45, it's a left down one for 35. Skyker's traffic, booty left base 35, Skyker's. Mooney left final, full stop 35 Sky Acres. Back gear down. Right gear coming down. All right, that's locked in. Gear coming back down. I have you in sight too, Chris. I'll copy that. I'm in field left that one now. What's up? So gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, flaps. Yeah, definitely swirly around here. <laughs> yeah, it is. Watch our speed. Traffic, 12 o'clock, same altitude, one mile. Uh, 
Nine Skykers have any uh, left base now for one seven Skykers. Skykers traffic, Mooney entering a left downwind. Midfield 45 for 17 Skykers. And Skykers traffic when you turning final now, 17 Skykers. Full stop. Skyagers traffic, second Mooney turning left base, 17 Skyagers. Gas, undercarriage, locked. Mooney short final, 17, full stop, Skyagers. Look at your ground speed now. Oof. Almost can get out and run alongside. Sure can. Keeping the power in a little bit here. Check that gear one more time. That's locked. Sky is traffic, second Mooney, left final, 1-7. Sky At least it's uphill, so I'll go a little faster, not a big deal. There you go, perfect. They're up. Little bounce there, going uphill a little bit, so just. Alrighty, we're here. Sky Acres would have fill up. Both gonna fill up here, and then be on our way back to Orange County, because I can get it back to work. And when you clear uh, one seven skyers. That was fun. So we'll fill up here, guys. Welcome to Sky Acres again. Got some cheap fuel here. Um, fill up, and then we're gonna head back to Orange County. And I'll see you guys in a bit. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. Thank you for all the support. And you can email me, pilotfunnel101 at gmail.com also. And I'm on Facebook. All right, guys. Like always, fly safe, be safe. And I'll see you around.